Okay, so area is, is flat, right? It's just the amount of space that a flat surface takes up. So like a piece of paper or like the flat ground. Um, the units are squared. So you could have like square feet, square inches, square centimeters, etc. Uh, for a rectangle, we have length and width, so area is length times width. Um, this parallelogram, you have a base and a height, so area is equal to base times height. Uh, for square, all the sides are the same length, so it's basically length times width, but it's side squared. And for a triangle, it's one half base times height, but I know a lot of people don't like fractions, so if you want to, you can think of it as the base times the height divided by two. If you know, fractions are a source of anxiety. So, finding the area. We have different numbers. You guys have different numbers? Okay, eight meters. Okay, so the area is going to be eight times four, so it's thirty-two, and it's meters squared. Two inches. Okay. Um, area is side squared, so that's two squared, so that's four square inches. And in case you're wondering why it's units, the units are squared is because I'm doing meters times meters. <coughs> so that's meters squared. How do you square the two when you take off the square or after the inches? No, because it's still square inches. So this is like two inches times two inches. So I get four and then I get inches squared. Does that make sense? All right, so that's T. It's just my crosses weren't working. Okay, so I have 12 feet by 5 feet because it's base times height. So that's 60 square feet. Um, you'll notice, just in case you wonder, why do I curve my T? When you are a mathematician or you teach math or whatever, you curve your T so it doesn't look like a plus. So it doesn't, it's not confusing. That's why. Um, you'll also notice eventually when we get to it, I cross my Z's so they don't look like twos. <clears throat> okay, so um, area of a triangle, what are your measurements? Because I'm sure they're different. Okay. So the area is one half base times height, or you can say base times height divided by two. So if we do one half, 10 times four, or you can say 10 times four divided by two. Here you get one half of 40, or here you get 40 divided by two, and either way, you get 20 square inches. Yes. For test, do you provide the formula? Um, I do not. <clears throat> okay, so to find the area of this circle, we're given the diameter. So the first thing we do is we need to find the radius. So the radius is 6. And then the area is equal to pi times the radius squared. 3.14 times 36. I did not memorize my 36s. So it's 113.04 centimeters squared. Now even though it's a circle, we still have square units. And 
basically what this is is this is literally little tiny squares of centimeters that fill up the whole circle or fill up the whole whatever shape we're doing um, here we already have the radius Bless you. So it's 3.14 times 25. I have three on here. Three? Yeah. Ah, okay. Three inches. Okay. All right, well, let's do this over again. The area is 3.14 times 3 squared. So that's 3.14 times 9. So 28.26, and that's square inches. All right, so volume is the amount of space a three-dimensional object occupies or takes up. Or, you know, you're used to thinking of volume as like the amount of liquid that will fill a container. Um, volume is in units cubed. So centimeters cubed, inches cubed, etc. If we have, um, this is known as a rectangular prism. Okay, if all the sides are the same length, it's a cube. That's where the cubed comes from. Um, but it's a, if it's a rectangle, if they're not the same length, it's called a rectangular prism. And the volume is equal to the length times the width times the height. Um, here we have cylinder. Um, the volume of a cylinder is pi r squared h. So you've got pi times the radius squared times the height. Okay, um, you always need to do the exponent first, so you need to square your radius and then multiply. Any questions about that? We got it? Okay. And then we have surface area. Okay, so surface area, the total Okay, it's the total area of all surfaces. So like here we have a rectangular prism. It's the area of the back, the front, the sides, the top and the bottom all added together. Um, so since we're area again, Units are squared. Okay. So the surface area of a rectangular prism is 2 times the length times the width plus 2 times the length times the height plus 2 times the width times the height. <coughs> doing is uh, if you take the length times the height, right, that gives you the area of this side. And the reason there's two is because there are two sides. And if you do the length times the width, you get the area of this bottom, but that's the same as the area of the top. So that's why there's two of those. And then um, width times height gives you the area of the front and the back. Two of those. So just keep this written down. And then the surface area of a cylinder is 2 pi r squared that gives you the area of the two circles plus 2 pi r h and that gives you the area of the side yeah you you want to keep the, make sure you have these written down correctly and whoa.
so how do we use them? We've still got the same <coughs> measurements, right? So we'll back to inches. So five inches, three inches, and four inches. So I need to decide on this one. It doesn't matter which one you want to call length and width and height. You just need to name them so that you don't accidentally use the same number too many times or not enough times. So if I call this length, width, height. So if I do 2 times the length times the width, oops, plus 2 times the length <coughs> times the height plus 2 times the height times the width. So that's 30, that's 40. And this is 24. So that's 70, 94, and it's area, so it's inches squared. So the difficult part of this is not the actual, the math, it's the formula. And making sure that you've got it down right and that you've put <coughs> the numbers into the correct places. So here we have 2 times 3.14 times the radius squared plus 2 times 3.14. I need to scoot that over actually, sorry. radius times the height. So I have so if I multiply each of those together Was it? Thank you. And then you'll add those. And then that's centimeters squared.